hope you're all still awake. Late night Mega here. Uh, this is where we're currently located at. I don't think I explored that little outpost there. But uh, we're at the shrine. We activated this and uh, that was that. So let's take the televator down. Uh, so I do want to continue with some general exploration today. I think the game wants to send us mainly to Hatino Village next before we go taking on Divine Beasts. I didn't read the title. I was busy to... Oh, well, I can just climb this, can't I? Uh, leave a comment in the comment section where you think I should go first for the uh, Divine Beasts. I'll pull the map out soon enough. Oh, well, there's the... Oh, I have to get that. Okay, so this is clearly a Magnesis thing. Now, I pull one of these. Oh, no. Well, we're gonna have to climb up here at least somewhat to get that. Um, so yeah, since I've never played this far into the game before, getting the... I've never been to any of the Divine Beast stuff, or any of the other tribes. I'm not really sure what would be the... Why did I get a sound for that? It just climbed up here. Okay, well there's our thing. Uh, let's drop that down. I'm guessing the intention... I'm guessing the intention is going to be to get the stack. I'm going to try sticking right there. Of course, it's not going to stick very well when this is in a lair. We'll see how well my 3D locationing is in this shrine. Uh, but yeah, I've never really... I, I don't know like what the best order is for the Divine Beast. I know since it's an open world game, you can do it in any order. When we get out, we'll look at the map and help. Really? Never mind, we're just going to be doing this the entire episode. Because clearly... My 3D positioning is really bad. I don't even know if that's going to be too far or not far enough or what. It would be better to use the magnesis on the thing after I get up top here. Oh, this should work. Okay, never mind. It does not go as long.
that work? Uh, that didn't quite work. Oh, I have space. Do I just have to... Okay. I guess my distancing of the whole tower was, uh, was okay. She didn't have another Jenga moment. All right, so let's get out. Let's get out of here and take a look at the map. Your resourcefulness overcomes. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep that in mind if I need to beat Ganon in a game of Jenga. Bomb barrels. I know that. Give me another tip. Smoke signals. Oh, interesting. I'll keep an eye out for smoke signals. Climbing tip. Over. Oh, we've gotten that tip before. Pushing objects. Barrels and boxes can be pushed over. You don't say. Oh, it's raining now. Now we're not climbing anything. Well, since we're not climbing anything... Yeah, there's Hatno Village. I, I think the game wants us to do that next. We mark the Divine Beast, then those will appear. Yeah, I have never been to any of these. Does it even tell me which... I think it tells me which one is which, so I don't even know where to start. Like I said, I know you can do them in any order. So we could go for, like, the closest one, which might be the intended path. Uh, but at the same time, with things, like, one-hitting us, I am really afraid of the bosses of these Divine Beasts. So maybe I even, like go for one of these two first my thought process on that being you know we get to all these other provinces we can uh activate their towers unlock uh do more shrines and get more hearts and uh stamina and maybe even get enough hearts to get the master sword wherever the heck that is in the world um and maybe we do all of that and then start tackling the divine beast i don't know so this is where this is where you guys can give me some input what you think we should do next. I do want to find the Korok uh, forest. I do want to find that. Riverside Sailor. Yeah, we have not been here. I'm going to grab this woodcutter's axe. In case we need to cut wood. I'm going to grab this fish because it's right here. We have fishy business. Uh, we have, you know, this stuff and Mountain goats. It's all over here. Okay, so this is just another stable. Oh, hey, it put it on the uh, map. Oh, another thing I wanted to do. Oh, Great Fairy Fountain. I was going to mark the actual Great Fairy Fountain. I guess I don't need to mark the Great Fairy Fountain. Ah, uh, maybe I will. Ah, uh, a star. That can be great fairy now. Or... Yeah, we'll use the star for that. So we got a staple here. You know, these people with the uh, stuff over their head... The, the exclamation mark, I think that's side quest. The Moleno sandbar. The scenery is great, bit lovely. Something of a connoisseur. We are like dripping wet. The most beautiful. Um, excuse me? Sure, why not? 
you head north through Hyrule Field, you'll see that castle surrounded by that foul aura. It has been a den of monsters, but in its glory days it was surely a thing of wondrous beauty. It was in that very castle, in those very days, that my ancestor, and my grandfather's grandfather, I believe, anyways, he worked as the castle's appointed chef. Oh, neat. I couldn't believe it myself. Mm. Oh, how I wonder what sorts of uh, cuisine members of the royal court enjoyed in the good old days. As a child, I would often suffer meager meals, all while dreaming of the beautiful dishes that might have graced my plate. Oh, if only things had been different. Gourmet spiced meat, seafood curry, mushroom risotto, egg, pud egg pudding. <laughs> oh, I think I'm salivating. I'm trying to figure out what egg pudding is. And it's my pursuit of these childhood dreams that explains the fabulous body you see here. Really, is that what we're calling it now? These days, I enjoy my time working at these stables, sharing my tales of beauty. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Prattling on, I said blah, blah, blah. Rekindled my desire. If you should happen to set foot inside Hyrule Castle, could you find it to keep an eye out for a cookbook? I'm simply dying to finally sample the food of the royal court. Well, that's going to be quite the side quest. Oh, hey, I need to uh, switch. So they want me to go to Hyrule Castle. There's no way I should be doing that right now. Oh, hey, there's Beetle. Hey, I'm not dripping anymore. Oh, it's an Archenic Rhino Beetle. <laughs> He's going to make me do this every single time. Fine. Oh. Yahoo! Uh, what have you got? <laughs> Arrows, Thunder Wing, Butterfly, Electric Darner. Electricity Resistance Elixir. Uh, I don't think I need to sell anything right now. Well, I don't know if we're going to need more money on hand. You're concentrating your... I just wanted him to stop giving me that long explanation every time I talk to him. Uh, let's sell a few of these. <laughs> At least get some money here. Probably also sell some other generic... Like, I don't know that I need 116 of these. Can be tossed into a suit. Well, I have a, like a billion. I will sell 88. That's a good amount of money for basically garbage I've been picking up. Now, in case I need money and there's no one that I can sell things to, uh, I can yeah. have the money. Yeah, we're not going there. Sneak in there to salvage ancient treasures, but it's too dangerous to go in there now. An eerie mist and savage machine-like creatures. I went in looking for this ultra-rare equipment that once belonged to the Royal Guard. It's legendary among collectors, but I was never able to find any. Royal Guard's gear. Ah. Will you be staying with us? Uh, no. Mm. No, I will not. That's okay. Uh, okay, let's go... Let's go to the top of this hill. Obviously, we can't really do any climbing in this rain. I just want to see if...
I don't know where... I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know how far in the distance that thing is. Uh, can I... I'm gonna mark the towers here. Is that even within the... No, that's in this whole region. Oh, that's where we had the sunken scoop. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do... I want to head back and head this way. And to do that, we want to be over here-ish. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the... Which one of these was super high up? Well, this one makes the most sense anyways. Let's go here. And let's just make our way towards Hatino. And I think after we get done with the Hat to Know stuff, well, depending on what else the main quest wants of us, I might try to find the Korok Forest. They said it's to the north. And I want to, any like new provinces we get into, I want to activate, at least find the towers for those along the way. This is not the high up shrine that I was hoping for. Not at all. Well, that is disappointing. I should have taken the one on the other side. Why did I get a saving thing there? I'm still not sure why we have this boulder. Oh, probably because this is camp. Throwing spear, a torch. I can't keep. Yeah, I picked up the axe. We've got a lot of stuff. I can't spear the bushes. Oh, that's fine. And that... Oh, that's a... rush room. May as well grab it. And then this is over by, oh, the other horse stable. Let's talk about the horses for a minute. So, from a practical standpoint, I'm not really sure how much I'm going to end up using the horses in this game. Right now, it's been basically not at all, other than when we uh, caught the horse that we have. What is that tower? I think that is the tower we need. Yes! That'll get the tower that lights up this whole region. Um, like, I could be riding the horse right now, but, like, there's so many places where we just, like, climb up and stuff, and you can't take the horse with you when you do all that. And then I end up in a whole nother... Whoa, boy. You are active. Okay. I press the... Okay, I guess I didn't press it at the right time. And I had a fairy restore my health. Because we did pick up some fairies a while back at the great fairy shrine. All your runes the moment you lose your last heart. It's easily mistaken for a firefly. I can hold the fish. That gives me an idea. But 
not for right now. I thought there were some active guardians out here. Well, we must just not have found it the first uh, first time through. Clearly, I didn't come to this specific point. That one also looks active. Or like it could have been. It's not. What is that out there? Oh, that's the uh, encampment. Okay, I don't need any of this. So yeah, with me, like, having to constantly ditch a horse and then like I can't get on a horse and then I don't think I can fast travel with the just would randomly get a cricket never would have got that I don't think if I didn't have this stealth gear on I I am liking this stealth gear okay this is where this is more or less where we want to go. I think we're supposed to actually follow the main road. Oh, but there was, uh... Wasn't there, like, some interesting-looking stuff this way that I wanted to check out? Oh, I ran out of... Like, I wonder if I could just, like, walk right up to this. Look at this. Hunting just becomes so much easier. Ooh. Excuse you guys. Uh, I think for the... No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I think for this one I'm going to try bombs. Yep. I think I'm going to try bombs a little bit better. Whoa, there's something up there. That looks like it's going to be interesting. Ah, see, that's... I just don't like how much they scatter. That's why I, I've been trying to avoid that. That looks like a stronger enemy. We're going to... Uh, heck, I'll probably throw this. When I first played this game, I don't remember what path I took after uh, Kakariko Village. I ended up finding like a really tough spot. And I ended up dying a ton. I wonder if the rain... It looks like he's got a fire wand. I wonder if the rain... is going to help me with that. I am in danger of dying again. Well, not really because I have a fairy, but uh, still. I don't want to burn through all my fairies. So do I have that's some two energizing uh let's do that. Although that attack took a 
restless cricket. Got him. Drop this. Fire rod. Ooh. Magical rod that can cast fireballs. Crafted by an ancient magician, the rod will break if it strikes something directly. Was that a whiz robe? Cool. Very, very cool. Well, we have a uh, fire rod. There's a boat over there. There's a... I don't really need to do that. Not at this one. And I can also just uh, do that, too. Way he won't be harassing me. And this is kind of the end of this path because we cannot climb in the rain. Maybe there will be like certain armor we get that can let us climb in the rain, but uh, otherwise, yeah, I can't. I guess we do have to go along the main path. I guess we can also use the fire rod to light, well, obviously to light certain things on fire. Maybe that could be used to solve, like, some puzzles somewhere. I do want to try and take another path, if possible. Definitely in the right territory. I'm just going to make my way towards the tower first, and hopefully the rain will let up by then. Or... Yes. we make our way into here. This time actually going into it. I can't actually climb up that tower right now. That is really unfortunate. Can I make it up here? You get dropped backwards so much. I can grab those. Uh, is that... That's a wooden box. Let's... I have with that is it scatters so much. Oh, hey, is this a... What is that? Oh, there's money under there. You can also see, like, little sparkles as well. That also tells me where items are. Oh, hey, can I search this thing and get... No, this is not a searchable one. There's a guy running. Let's try and catch him. Well, there's a uh, encampment over there. Oh, stones to pick up. Hey, come, come here. Ha! Hmm? Ah, let me guess. You caught wind of the great Doctor Gallup's groundbreaking research and just had to meet him for yourself. Not really. Ancient shrines. Ooh, tell me about ancient shrines. Oh. Okay, Doctor Gallup. And since you asked, I'll inform you that I'm engaging in... Oh, I thought this said analyzing ancient taxes. <laughs> okay, tell me about your ancient texts. Discovery of the century, yep. Undue attention, I haven't even told my family about this. But yet you're going to tell a stranger that just walks right up and says, Hey, can you tell me about Whoa. this? A doctor. <laughs> Did I... I just hear you call me Doctor? 
salivary. Was he going to be so happy that we called him Dr. Callop that uh, he's oh. going to tell us what he knows? He is. This guy is a complete nutcase. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eye, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. What? A dark light resides in the cursed statue's eye, pierce its gaze. Okay, so that means, like, maybe use arrows to purge the seal from the ah. shrine? Days filled with researching shrines and nights spent studying ancient texts. Oh, it is a, uh, it's a side quest. That's not going to overwrite. It does, doesn't it? But does that give me a thing on my map? Oh, it's literally like right here. It's not just him running. No, it's not. Okay, so it's like right... Maybe I have to be up? Maybe I have to be over there? I oh, know, there's a little bit... Little mushrooms. Oh, bees. I'm not trying to bomb your house, Dr. Gallup. I'm just trying to, uh, deal with some bees. What's up this tree? Anything, anything, nothing at all. What happens if I climb this house? Is there gonna be a Korok up here? Come on, I demanded a Korok. <laughs> oh, what weapon? We gotta use the boomerang, too. I think I might try to use it when... Yes, it's coming right to his house. Why? These ancient texts won't decipher themselves. His work keeps him far too busy. Uh, maybe this is a hint. An ancient text. Oh, when a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eye. We gotta find this cursed statue. And we gotta find the dark a dark light. I mean it pointed us to here. Maybe we need it to be night? I don't know. We'll come back to this. Come back to here. I don't want to spend too much time on this right now. Alright, what we need to do now is invade! Okay, what all do we have? We have... I wonder how long it takes for them to notice me. Hi guys! What's up?
Yeah, that's not gonna do much. I'm gonna try and save my arrows. Well, that wasn't difficult at all. Because they were all the red macoblins. We got baked apples. I think they got baked inside the uh, crate there. Definitely want to be picking up all these arrows. Oh, roasted acorn. Okay. Saw an apple fly here. I like that the bombs don't take up any of my inventory, as opposed to like the sledgehammer and, and all that. And then we have, you know, the junk equipment. What about... Did this guy drop arrows? Sure would have been cool if he did. Uh, let's get the treasure instead of just getting out of here. Oh, an opal. Cool. Since I just sold some of those. Well, it is night now. Okay, well, now that it's night, let's try this cursed statue. Okay, the self-proclaimed solving the ancient song's riddle will reveal the hidden shrine. It's a hidden shrine when a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eye. I'm running low on stamina. Do not drown right next to the shore. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> I guess if I wanted the stuff in those boxes, I shouldn't have blown it all up. Oh, the restless cricket got away from me. Hey, who are you? Oh. Top secret horse-based intel, yeah! There's food that horses like. Oh, it's carrots. Oh, probably a reference to the uh, Ocarina of Time when you have the carrot symbol for... Oh, jeez. To make them do their burst speed running thing. I have no interest in you get. For a second I thought they were, like, glowing a bright green. Oh, you're not gonna talk to me while they're... Okay, they're, they're gone. They're gone. So terrifying. A real nightmare. Wow, 50 rupees just for picking up that stone. I gotta pick up, like, every stone we find. Plus there could be Koroks. What is that sound? That's the Blood Moon thing. It's back. It's doing its thing. Oh, hey. Okay, yeah, Blood Moon is back. Is it gonna restore? Is it really gonna restore the camp I just fought? Because that would be a little bit obnoxious.
Wake up. Yeah. Oh, this is a different person. I was praying for the souls of the warrior and all who died here at Fort Hiteno. Sure. Last line of defense between Hiteno Village and the terrible tragedy all those years ago. Interesting. Survivors to pray at this. Okay. You don't do anything else, do you? Oh, this is the uh, main gate. Whoa, dear. And bees. Oh, we know how to handle bees. Handle them just like that. And these things I can just like run right up to and grab. Because they won't scatter as quickly. Okay, so it talks about... Why is the quest leading me to right here? This is so weird. Ancient text. I'm like so confused. Okay, that camp we just killed isn't back. Because that would be obnoxious. I wonder if we have to go up. It's like the only thing we haven't done around here. And maybe that quest thing is just misleading me. I made that a lot closer than it should have been. This is why I have this. Because I don't like my gems going flying. Oh, hey, I can get that, uh... I can get that treasured now, too. My opal just done fell. Need that opal. Need this first. Oh, another sledgehammer. Um. Yeah, let's leave that there. Hi, Fox. I am looking for not you. Yeah, I came back down because it was an opal. Okay, climb that. I can climb this a uh, little bit normally now. This might even be a spot we can walk on. Eh, maybe not. And now it's light again. I hope we didn't need to do something at night. More of this stuff. Don't mind if I do. I 
could also be potentially over there. We can stop playing around on the wall. Flint. Okay. I'm just not seeing the evil statue thingy. Oh, maybe it's maybe it's over on that side. Oh, there's also more up here. Well, let's climb up a little bit further. And then I can always jump off of here and get somewhere towards the other side. Hello. I am not bothering you, sir. It also might make a little bit more sense if I have the uh, full map. This is a wide open area. Oh, uh, yeah, I kind of landed. What is all this? That activated the Korok. Sure, why not? Where'd that fox go? Oh, he's gone. It's so foxy. I'm half expecting one of those stone talus mini bosses to pop up out here. I wonder if I can. Not entirely what I meant to do. Yep. Trying to crouch there. So many different buttons. Okay, let's. Well, there's the tower. There's. That's not a statue. Well, I guess let's go. Oh, hey. Oh, I got a ruby and a topaz in that. Very cool. Very cool. I like that. I don't see any evil eye statue. I guess we got... Yeah. Well, that's a Korok seed. Uh, okay, can we make it? Because if we can't, then we end up going all the way down and having to climb up there. Let's give it a go. If I at least make it to this side... Oh, yeah, I can climb up from here. Yeah, in the middle of paragliding, we can just suddenly cling to a wall. That is how physics works. At least in this game, that's how it works. Okay, so we've got a... Uh, well, that one's a Moblin. I'm gonna have to deal with him, aren't I? Uh, spears. Spears are good against them. 
Yeah, hi. Bombs are also good. I cannot carry any more of that, so that's fine. And this is definitely a Magnesis puzzle. It's one of those, just put the block in. But, hey. There we go, that was a little too precise. Maybe I just moved it too quickly. Still, we got it. That is the important part. So I guess that quest marker was only showing me where we got the, uh... Yeah, that's only showing me where. I gotta find the evil statue. This is not even close to the right way. This isn't close to anything. We're going... We're going, like, completely backwards. There's the tower we want. Uh, bombs? And... Pokey Spear. Oh, he's got his... Same sort of spear. Can I get rid of anything? I really don't think I need this. I am liking the spears. I mean, they seem to be a bit weaker in terms of damage output, but, uh... Ew. Hi. I bomb that horse. Where did our enemy go? Stop it. Trying not to use all my arrows. I'll pick up their arrows. Uh, what's at the top of this little mountain? Evil statue, anybody? Has anybody seen a statue? Anybody stay? Oh! I found a statue! Um, okay. Oh, I cannot just sit here and take it. Healing. Do I have a. I almost need a yeah, three hearts should be good. <laughs> Chill out. I just gotta get around behind this guy. Thank you. 
<laughs> They're super weak to the iron sledgehammer. This is why I try to keep those around. Oh. It's quite a direct hit. Why is my... Okay, I, I need to pause to get a... I like battling those guys because you get a bunch of uh, bunch of rocks that you can sell. Okay, so I'm gonna mark this place on the map if I can ever figure out how to do that. I'm just gonna put a stamp here, a battle stamp. That way, if I want to return, I can do so. Like after a blood moon comes and revives all this stuff. Okay, so that's what was up here. I don't know about this evil statue thing. So I guess next time we'll make towards that tower. And uh, maybe we'll see what... Oh, that must be the village. We'll make towards the tower and probably the village... Wait... Nope, that's just a tree. Well, I don't know what the evil statue is. We'll have to figure that out later.